Welcome back to my channel, PTL Empowerment. This is Lisa Morton, and it's so good to have you back. How you? How are you doing? What's going up? Give me a big shout out. So good to have you back. If you are a constant viewer of my videos, oh man, so good to have you back. Thank you so much. But if you haven't subscribed as yet, please remember not to leave unless you subscribe to this video. And if there's anything that I'm saying in this video that resonates with you, give me a big thumbs up, a big thumbs up. But if you're new and you're coming in for the very first time, welcome, welcome. So good to have you. And I'm also reminding you to subscribe, like, and share this video. And don't forget to comment, comment. I need to hear feedback from you. So please don't forget to comment. So today I've come to tell you that you need to remove the blocks from your mind so that you can prosper. Remove the mind blocks so you will prosper. There's some mind blocks, chosen ones, that is stopping you from prospering. And that prosperity, I'm talking about prospering in peace, prospering in joy, prospering in contentment, prospering in love, prospering in wealth. There are some mind blockages that you have that are definitely impeding on you being able to receive all that is rightfully yours so that you can come into a prosperous life. And not, I'm not only talking about finances, but I'm talking about prospering in every area of your life where you have so much peace and you have so much contentment and you have so much joy that it doesn't matter what is going on around you. You are just overflowing with those things. Are they're just exuberant from you to the point that it's being contagious. That people are just like they're trying to study you. They're trying to they know that there's something different about you, but they can't put their hands on it. And that's because of you you are being prosperous the anointing the glory of God has come upon you you see when you don't have anything to block these things that God wants to give to you that is rightfully yours that all you need to do is to tap into it because there are treasures there are treasures that rightfully belong to you so God all only wants you to tap into it but you're not going to be able to tap, tap into it as long as you have those mind blockers that are preventing you. Let's name some of those mind blockers. Some of those blind blockers are, are fear. You're constantly living in fear. You're not only having the feelings of fear, but it's like there's such a crippling fear. And when you, when you think about doing anything, Fear immediately comes and rob you from even trying to make the first attempt to do it. So that's a mind blocker. So you got to rid yourself of fear. You got to rid yourself of self-doubt. That's the second mind blocker. Self-doubt. You keep doubting yourself. In everything that you do, you're just constantly doubting, doubting, you know, whether you're doing the right thing, whether it's good enough, whether it will be accepted. That's another mind blocker, you know, constantly doubting yourself. Another mind blocker is being overly concerned about what others think. That's the third mind blocker. You're just concerned about the opinions of others. You cannot, beloved, you cannot be cons overly concerned about what others think about you. You ha have to be confident in yourself. 
You have to be confident, confident in knowing that he who have begun that work in you is faithful to complete it. And you have to realize that you already have all that you need. You already have all that you need. So you cannot allow that mind blocker of what others think about you to stop you. The fourth mind blocker is judgment. Judgment. You're, you're constantly judging everything. You know, you're constantly comparing. That's it. Comparing yourself to others. And because you you compare yourself and you have yourself down here and you're rating others on a higher spectrum. You're giving them a 10 and you're only giving yourself a 2. And because of that competitiveness within you, you keep ruling yourself out of the game. You cannot compete. You cannot, you would always see the excellence in others before you see that in yourself. So you, you just have to trust that your gift is good enough. You have to trust that what you have is good enough because if you don't, you're not going to get started and you're always going to think that you're not enough and you're always going to think that it's not good enough. So you cannot bring that judgmental, that competitive um, spirit, allow that competitive spirit to cancel you out. And the fifth, the fifth mind blocker is jealousy. Beloved, chosen ones, you cannot allow the spirit of jealousy to stop you, to be a blockage. You cannot allow it. Everybody would come into their own. Everybody would come into the own of what God has for them. I am so blessed when I see people coming into their own and doing their thing and being great at it. It's a motivation to me that I too can come into it and I too can be the best. So you can't allow jealousy to be a mind blocker you have to rid yourself of these five mind blockers because they will stop you from moving forward they will limit you they were they would hinder your progress they will stunt your growth you have to have a mindset that says I can do it because I have the greater one within me. You have to have the mindset that says what I have to offer, it is good. It is good. It is good. You have to see yourself as good. You have to confidently and constantly confess that you have what it takes, that you can do it that you will not give up, that you will not quit, but that you will keep going. Beloved, beloved brother, beloved sister, it is your time. It is your time. So do not allow the enemy of your soul to stop you from going forward. Remove those mind blockers remove them eradicate them from your mind because right now as you are struggling in any one of these areas in your subconscious that's what you're telling yourself that's what you're feeding yourself and that's what eventually is going to become the reality it's going to live itself out through you so if you're negative even if you're having the thought and you're not combating it with the positive with what is good you see the father all he can do is to give what is good i was counseling someone uh, yes the other day and they said so you mean god doesn't bring bad to us god can't bring bad to us because there is no bad in god 
God is all good. God is all good. The bad comes when we allow the enemy to influence us. And then we have all kinds of negative thoughts. And then those negative thoughts manifest themselves in ways that will actually hold us in bondage. That will actually hold us back. Chosen ones, you can't allow anything or anyone in this season, even your own self, to hold you back or to stop you from going forward. It is time for you to move forward, move forward in love, we move forward in joy, we move forward in the, that energy, that exuberance that God has given you. The Bible says my people perish for lack of knowledge. Don't perish because of your lack of knowledge. Get the knowledge that you need that will move you to the next level. Continue to level up, level up, level up, level up, level up, level up. This is the year of leveling up, leveling up, going higher, going higher. I want you to comment and say, I'm leveling up, I'm going higher, leveling up, I'm going higher. This is your year. This is your time. And you can be all that you were created to be. You can do all that you were created to do yeah so come on get rid of those mind blockers get rid of those mind blockers so that you will be totally free to soar to be like the eagle and begin to soar and begin to rise and begin to be and begin to love and begin to flourish and begin to prosper that's your portion. That's your portion. I want you to come in and say, prosperity is my portion. I will prosper in every area of my life this year. Comment and say that. And if you have commented and this video touched you, identified with something that you may have been going through or some question you may have, I want you to give us a big thumbs up, a big thumbs up, a big thumbs up. That's right. And reach out to me, you know, if you want to continue our com this conversation and, you know, you're really struggling in areas and you find that, you know, you're not able to, to move forward. You, you probably feel stuck. Well, this is your girl. I want to help you get unstuck. So send me a, send me an email. You'll find that information right in the description. So Come on and get free. Move those mind blockers. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Get rid of them. Don't let them stop you. Nothing can stop you. You're unstoppable. Comment and say, I'm unstoppable. That's right. You are unstoppable because you are all that God says that you are. And you have the ability to be just that, to do just that and to walk just like that, in that realm, in that realm of love, in that realm of peace, in that realm of joy, in that realm of contentment, in that realm, just prospering and being in health, even as your soul prospers. We want your soul to prosper, beloved. So come on, come on, it's time to get moving. It's time to get being, that's right. So. Remember, subscribe, 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 and give us a big thumbs up. God bless you. Love you. Peace, joy, and love always. Have a wonderful day. And stay tuned for the next video. Blessings on you. Bye.